fish on her. Of course you can. Ah, oh, you're up. What, you're not having a shower? No, I'm going to go to the compound, I'm going to get the car, then we're out of here. Whoa, one thing at a time. Breakfast first, and then Amy wants to play on the sands. Uh, no way. Well, look, you don't want to be getting back to Weatherfield too soon. You're supposed to have come from Basingstoke, remember? You can stay as long as you like, I'm off. Oh, yeah, wait, don't snap. Don't pretend you've not enjoyed yourself either. Are you mental? Look, we both said a lot of things that needed to be said yesterday. I feel closer to you now. You said things, you mean? Yeah, and so did you. And if only you'd given in to your real feelings instead of closing them down in a blind panic. Oh, dream on. I'm going to go and ring Becky. <laughs> Tea. Oh, Tom. <laughs> you look cosy. Oh. <laughs> so what do you fancy for breakfast? Um, what have we got? Um, bacon, mushrooms, eggs. Lard to fry them in. Is that better than oil? What? And I thought the Chinese knew about food. <laughs> we do. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> all right. Yeah, all right. Sorry if it's early. No, it's fine. I wanted to catch her before I go to work. We need to talk, don't we? You up early this morning? Yeah, I got a lot on today. Got a new manager starting. Oh, you found somebody then? Oh, didn't I mention it? Spanish woman. Angelica. Used to be assistant manager at Tapas Place in the Northern Quarter. Looking for a step up, and this is it. Lucky Angelica. Yes, yeah, she's thrilled. Speaks three languages, a uh, good sense of humour, easy on the eye. Landed on my feet there. What about you? You got much plan for today? Well, I shall uh, read the paper, cover to cover, take a trip to Fresh Cup. Didn't you go on Saturday? Well, it gets me out of the house. Watch loose women. Fall asleep after lunch. Get up in time to make tea. Lady of leisure. That's one way of putting it. Oh, well, look, uh, wish me luck. Mm. Hi, Tina. Oh, hi. Yeah. I'm just going down to get some milk, OK? Cool. Bye. So, uh, have you been up to anything interesting? You talk that we hardly know each other. And no, I haven't seen Tommy Duckworth, if that's what you're wondering. Well, I know what it must look like in the pub, but nothing's going on. Yeah, well, it's not a problem. Well, it was? Yeah, well, I was on edge, you know, with the interview and not being able to see you properly. I can't let this come between us, Graham. I know. I'd never cheat on you. You know that, don't you? Yeah, and I'd never cheat on you. Right, well, what we're worrying about? There's a letter from the UK border agency. It went to the shop on Saturday. Dev forgot to tell us. And um, what does it say? And I'm too afraid to open it. Oh, give it here. Well, I knew it. You got your visa. Honestly? Oh, yeah! We know the people we know! Them. Morning, ladies. Morning, Mr. Foster. Hard at work, that's what I like to see. Oh, we don't mind coming in on our bank holiday, Mr. Foster, do we, girls? Oh, I could hardly sleep at all, you know, what with all the excitement. <laughs> I had to take a pill, help me get off. If triple time isn't good enough for you. <laughs> We're not saying that, don't worry. <laughs> hey, that's a tap dancing step, you know. Triple time. That should keep you on your toes, then, Kay. Grateful bunch, aren't they? Oh, who cares? As long as we get it done on time, we're not here to be like Frank. Ah, a Peter Drucker fan, I see. Who? Management theory guru. Oh. Listen, the only things I read have soft covers and lots of glossy pictures in between. Well, you don't know what you're missing. Yeah, well, he can't be half bad if he agrees with me, can he? He also said that employees are assets, not liabilities. Hey, don't go tell them that. They'll be wanting quadruple time. Haley, how's the order coming on? Um, fine. Yeah, we're ahead of schedule, actually. Then why all the complaining just now? Oh, um, well, they were only joking. We should be finished by the end of the day. So you could take the afternoon off and still have it done by, say, noon tomorrow? Oh, well, yeah. Then do that. Sorry? And be in the Rovers later so I can buy everyone a drink. I'll tell him. I'll tell him. <laughs> is that in Peter Watts's face and all, is it? No, it's a Frank Foster one. It's called Keep Em Guessing. Oh. Well, thank God they didn't catch us out. It was a stupid thing to do looking back on it. <laughs> well, it worked. But obviously you're a good liar. I'm going to have to watch you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I should go and buy some champagne. Oh, no, not for me. And he's going to get ready for work. 
You gonna call in the rovers later? Yeah, sure. Yeah? Okay. I can't thank you both enough. Don't mention it. Right, bye. bye. See you, darling. <sighs> this is going to take a while to sink in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm sorry for getting under the duvet earlier. No problem. Yeah. Can you imagine if Tina had found us? Yeah, well, she didn't, uh -huh. did she? Oh, it just seemed like a cosy thing to do. It's fine. Yeah. It meant nothing. No, of course. What are we stopping here for? You might not care if Becky sees us, but I do. Amy, don't go too far. I don't want you getting lost again. Wouldn't surprise me if you told that girl missing yesterday. How can you say that, Steve? So we'd have to stay over? What kind of mother do you think I am? 150 quid tow-away fee, 30 quid parking fine, 60 quid bed and breakfast. Yeah, well, don't blame me for that. Right, well, I'm going to hang around for a bit. You guys go home, show your face. I'll pretend to come back from Basingstoke and hopefully Becky will be none the wiser. Fine. I'm relying on you to keep stung. Why would I tell Becky? Because you're a scheming, conniving little stirrer. Right, sweetheart, give us a kiss. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I'll see you later. And remember, this trip was our little secret. We'll be able to do it again. You bet. So, I suppose you'll be wanting me out of there now, right? Only when you're ready. Really? Yeah. If you need a bit of time to plan your next move. Well, that would be great, if you're sure. No worries. Right, I better get on with the windows. What, on a bank holiday? Needs must. <laughs> well, I can help you again later if you like. Nah, no, you're all right. Nah, no, I enjoyed it last time. All right, then. Go on. Fantastic. I'll, I'll see you later, yeah? Okay. Calm down, have we? Calm down. Obviously not. Listen, yeah? Tina has told me that nothing was going on. So that is good enough for me. Yeah, but is it good enough for her? Tell you what? Tina is a quality girl, and if you can't give her the attention she deserves, there are others that will. to order fewer Sunday papers. Bank holiday weekends, people are away, aren't they? The balance they? of my mind was disturbed. Oh, so would yours be if you were homeless. It's enough to make you scream. <sighs> well, at least we have the consolation of sharing the same roof together for a while. <laughs> That's it. It's an ill wind. Hello. Any news on the van, Mary? You mean my motorhome? <sighs> no, we were... We were just talking about it. When did you report it? As soon as it happened. Well, I suppose the police have their hands full. They've got their priorities wrong, you mean. That they're too busy learning how to be nice to violent criminals when law-abiding victims just get ignored. Oh, don't start, Norris. No, it would have been shipped to the continent by now. <laughs> yeah, they're probably respraying it as we speak. Oh, no! Whereas, you see, if you were a homeless drug dealer with nine delinquent children to feed, they'd be putting you up in a suite at the Lowry Hotel. I'm sure that Mary has enough on her plate without you alarming her any further. If I were you, I'd get on the phone to the police right now. Read them the riot act. Dropping one or two veiled threats about going to the Gazette. That should brighten their ideas up. Mm, put their backs up, you mean? Yes, well, we'll see, won't we? Oh, here he is, my hero. <laughs> Putting himself out for someone in need. Oh, well, not really. <laughs> How's your journey, darling? All right. Yeah, what about that woman, what you took there? Uh, I've just dropped her off now. Uh, look, I'm really sorry I screwed up our bank holiday. Oh, don't be daft, couldn't be out, could it? I'll make it up to you, Max. Too damn right you will. He might have been missing you just a little bit and all. Oh, well, I've missed you both. <laughs> Seriously? You have no idea. Oh. We're about together again now, aren't we, my darling? So no more running old biddies about. Don't worry. That's the last time I do a favour for anyone. Mm -hmm. For a long, long time. Hey! 
cleave your night's work, are you? I don't know what you're talking about. What, luring Steve away behind Becky's back? I didn't lure him. He didn't have much choice after how you put it to him. I don't see how this is any of your business. Was it you who phoned the clamping company and all? Make sure you stayed over. <laughs> I don't have to listen to this. Look, playing with Steve might be a game to you, but if Becky finds out, that's his marriage down the plug hole. The last thing I want to do is spoil his happiness. Like you care about his happiness. I do. You only care about what you want. You'll do anything it takes to get it. I just want Amy to have a taste of normal family life. Is that such a crime? Yeah, it's never that simple with you, though, is it, Tracy? Hey? I reported it immediately. Well, I thought I would have heard something by now if only a courtesy call. Absolutely. No, I'm afraid that's not good enough. Ask to speak to his superior officer. I should like to speak to your superior officer, please. Well done. Thank you. Oh, yes. Hello, Sergeant. I was trying to impress upon your assistant that I'm not happy with the progress in finding my stolen motor home. But how many more times? I reported it as soon as it went missing. You know, the dear man, she's talking to the police. Yeah, I know, but... Fine word, Sergeant. But I wonder what the Weatherfield Gazette will make of them. Your policy of zero tolerance has hardly been a resounding success, has it? It's outside. What? A camper van. It's in Viaduct Street. Are you sure? Hey, excuse me one moment. What's he saying? Your van's around the corner in Viaduct Street. I saw it two minutes ago. I'm not going to have a look if you don't believe me. But we had an agreement. So what is it, the money? OK, yeah. Thanks for letting me know. Problem? Yeah, the woman I offered the manager's job to has just let me down. What fragrant Angelica? Yeah, I thought she was too good to be true. Did she say why? Yeah, she probably got a better offer. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's a blow. So, um, what are you going to do now? I'm going to need a new manager quick. Why well, am I going to get one at such short notice? I've got a wine tasting tonight with Grand's friend, Mark. Well, you need someone who's not going to let you down again. Yeah, someone who's good with the punters, keep the staff in line. Someone you can trust. Who can organise cleaners. I mean, look at this place, it's filthy. Yeah, well, it's easily Oh, sorry. Cheryl. I'm sorry I'm late. <sighs> the answer to my prayers. How would you like the manager's job? I thought you'd got someone. I had. She let me down. Uh, I know I had some reservations, but would you be happy to do a trial period? <laughs> Yeah, sure. <laughs> Congratulations. Nice. Isn't that great, Mum? Yeah, terrific. <laughs> I thought you said you'd looked in Viaduct Street. Well, I checked every street within a 500-yard radius. It can't possibly be there. Look, I'm not going to argue, all right? I had that police sergeant right where I wanted him on that phone. If you're wrong and I have to stop... There you go. You did this. Oh, no. It's the only explanation. No, 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 not this time. You had me talking to the police and you panicked. That's why you had to tell me. How could I move it without a key? Now, this hasn't been broken into. There's no sign of forced entry, you must admit. I parked it in Coronation Street. Yeah, of course you did. Steve about? No. That's a pity. Yeah. He'll be mortified that he's missed you. But I just wondered whether Max would like to play with Amy. What? Well, it's a holiday today and Amy's at a loose end, so if Max is too... Oh, hang on. You've all but banned Steve from seeing her. Yeah, I know that, and, um... Well, I realise now that I was wrong. I've got no right to do that, and it certainly doesn't benefit Amy, so... If you and Steve are okay with it... I'd like us all to start again with a clean sheet. Yes, Sergeant. I, I know I accused you of incompetence. It was not round the corner all the time. Anyway, I just wanted to inform you that it was no longer missing. Good day to you two. Oh, I've never been so humiliated in all my life. Yes, well, it certainly put a smile on Gary's face, I'll say that. But why was there no damage? Because it was perhaps never stolen in the first place? I did not park it in Viaduct Street. Are you sure you didn't mislay it deliberately? Why would I do that? So you could stay on at number three. If that's how you see me, then I am most disappointed. In fact, I find it quite upsetting. Oh, well, you must admit it. It is a bit of a rum do. Which is why we've got to get to the bottom of it. So, at least you've got your home back. Well, there's no way I'm sleeping there till we find out what's going on. I know. Well, what if the thief breaks in when I'm in bed? 
Where are you going to live? I have no idea. Well, I suppose you could stay on for another day or so, but I, I shall have to ask Emily first. Oh, Norris. What would I do without you? <laughs> I knew something like this had happened. Well, let's see what you're getting so worked up about. That car was off the road for 24 hours when it could have been earning us money. You borrow cabs all the time. Yeah, but I don't take liberties like you, though. And I've never once been clamped. Yeah, well, I couldn't help that. Duh. The street signs? They'd say no parking? Oh, I don't know. It's everything you do these days, Steve. Borrow money off the company asking me to lie. It was your idea to say I was going to Basingstoke. Yeah, because you keep putting me in impossible positions. <sighs> Tell me you paid the clamping fine. Well, they wouldn't have released it otherwise. We're not going to get any nasty little letters in two weeks' time threatening court action. I've got the receipt here, if you don't believe me. You paid it on the company account? Ah, th thought it might be tax deductible. You thought I wouldn't notice more like. But I'll reimburse the company. Yeah, yeah, well, when you find the money. Oh, Stevie, Stevie. Where's it all going to end? <laughs> so, how did you wangle this then, Hayley? I didn't wangle anything. Oh, come on. You left it in your body, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I bet that was Roy's idea. Why would her husband do that? I'll keep up, Kirk. I'm going to go and give him a special thank you. Oh. Hey, not too special, Julie. Um, on behalf of all my colleagues and myself, I'd like to say thank you for doing this. My pleasure. Will you be having it off as well? <laughs> I mean, the afternoon, I mean. Unfortunately, I've got to work. Oh, well, don't get too stressed. I won't. I do a very good massage if the oh. tension does get too much. Well, I'll, um, I'll bear that in mind, Julie. Thank you. <laughs> From zero to hero in one day. A couple of drinks in there, anybody's. You didn't have to do this, you know. Yeah, well, I want them to see that I'm not all bad. Oh, and when you have to tear a stripper for them. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Right. Look, I've got to work this afternoon, but uh, do you fancy getting a drink later? Yeah, OK. Away from the rabble. Assets, not liabilities, you were calling them this morning. Hmm. That was this morning. No, darling, but let our Amy do that piece, cos we've got to share, do you remember? Yes, you might well look gobsmacked. What's happened? Right, we're sat in here having a bad break. Knock on that door, Tracy with Amy, wanting to know if Max wants to play with you. I tell you, I nearly dropped dead with shock. Well, why the change of heart? She reckons she's been too hard on you, stopping you from seeing her, and she wants to start again clean sheet. Oh, well, why now? Well, I don't know, but I ain't knocking it, because there was no fights and there was no arguments. And this, look, this can only be a good thing, right? Everything all right? Yeah, I've sorted all the food for tonight. Oh, I've got some more nipples if you need them. I have chased Owen about the toilet. He's coming in about half an hour. Great. And I've put an ad in for a new barmaid at the cabin. To replace you? Mm -hmm. How are you liking it so far? It's brilliant. Well, you're certainly giving this place a good clean. <laughs> well, actually... Mum? What? You said you needed a cleaner? Yeah, I know, but... Well, she offered, so I said, yeah. Surely you want something better than this. Yes, but until that comes along, I'd rather be doing something useful than sat at home all day. That's if it's uh, OK with you. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> good. I'll give the gents a good bottom. You just can't see enough of me right now, can you? What is your game? Game? A one minute you're blackmailing me into trips to Blackpool. Uh, no, I didn't. And the next you're gushing to Becky about how you're turning over a new leaf. I mean it. Look, don't you want to see more of Amy? You know I do. Well, then. Well, if you're hatching some kind of plan... No, I'm not. Look, isn't it better if we're not at each other's throats the whole time? Yes. Well, then, that's what I'm trying to do. So, if you like, Amy can come and stay with you tonight. Oh, well, not if you don't want. No, no, no. No, it's OK. Great. Well, I'll go and pack a bag, then. For well, he's a jolly good fellow, and so say all of us. And uh, so say Julie, all... he only bought us a drink, so just calm down. Mm -hmm. And give us the afternoon off. Uh, mm. Where is he anyway? Well, Julie frightened him off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you don't think him and Carla are in. Oh, uh, Izzy, what's your mouth? Oh, Izzy, what's your mouth? Please be free, man. Oh, <laughs> 
I saw that tummy dog earlier. Oh, if I hear that bloke saying one more time... Listen, T, he is hitting on he's you. He's not hitting on me. He just warned me that if I didn't treat you properly, he'd be taking you off well, me. And he's winding you up. Yeah, well, he meant it. Well, even if he does, how many times do I have to tell you I'm not interested? You told me you don't have a problem with it this morning. Yeah, I know that. We've just had the best news we've had in months, and all you can do is obsess about him. Just got a bad feeling about it. What we need to concentrate on is getting Sheen out of the flat so we can get back to normal. Has she said anything? Uh, no. Right, well, uh, as soon as you get a chance, I want you to go over and tell her she's got to go. Nicely, obviously. So Becky didn't suspect anything then? No. Uh, get us that pink T-shirt, will you, and then blue dungarees? Hey, We can make this a regular thing if it works. Fine by me. Becky won't mind, will she? She'll love it. Right, well, I think that should do it. And I'm only next door if she should need out. Hmm. Listen, thanks for this. My pleasure. Have a lovely time. Hmm. And we're back in Coronation Street.